Well, researchers at a British university say sewage could reveal the infection rates of COVID-19 within specific communities. The team from Bangor University in Wales has been taking samples from a treatment center to measure the levels of dead virus, which is shed naturally. They say by regularly testing samples, it could show whether there might be a next peak of the virus in a specific area. Well, Professor David Jones joins me now from Bangor University. He's leading this research. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Uh, okay, help us just better understand in layman's terms what these dead virus cells could actually tell us. Will they tell us if another wave of infection is potentially coming? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, the I think most people are familiar with the idea that SARS-CoV-2, the infectious agent that causes COVID-19, is shed you know, through respiratory droplets. But I think one of the th things that we are learning more about um, SARS-CoV-2 now is that it's also shed in feces. So the virus multiplies inside the gastrointestinal tract of us all when we're infected. Um, and actually that virus is then shed in your feces. The feces clearly travel down the sewage network to the sewage treatment plant. And one of the great things about using sewage is that it basically, one sample from a wastewater treatment plant tells you how much virus is circulating in the population within an individual, for example, urban center for everybody is connected to that sewage treatment plant. Okay. And I think, yeah. So, I mean, this would essentially be in lieu of the testing that no government can seem to deliver on a high enough level to, to tell us exactly how many people are infected now? I think it supports that. Um, and it definitely su supports individual testing, which has to be done. I think one of the benefits of using wastewater is that you know, there's what we call asymptomatic people, those people who have contracted the virus but show no symptoms. Um, and there's those people that we call pre-symptomatic. So they've got the virus, but they haven't developed the symptoms yet but they're still shedding the virus in their feces. So in essence, we get a, like a, a week, maybe a two week early warning system. And then once they're infected, it might take them a week to get to hospital when their you know, symptoms get really severe. So it provides us with maybe a two to three week advance window in which we can monitor the virus in the effluent at the sewage treatment plant and therefore plan accordingly. And one of the other benefits is that once we know that the virus is there, you can then backtrack up the sewage network um, and find individual districts within cities, for example, where these hotspots are, are located. And you can clearly put in intervention measures then to try and prevent further spread. So it's almost sewage contact tracing, uh, following it up, up upstream in a way to figure out where uh, who might be in danger. You know, given though, it, it is so important to know you know, whether another wave might be coming, and you're pretty sure this can tell us, shouldn't everyone be doing this now? I think that most countries around the world are looking at this. Um, some countries are more advanced than others. Um, the UK is currently looking at the feasibility of running out a whole national program um, to cover the whole of the UK. At the moment, we're doing sectors of the UK. Um, other countries like the Netherlands are running out at a national level. Um, and, you know, I think all countries are, are going to be investing in this, you know, and it'll be investing for the future. Right. And tell us, though, for the work itself, I mean, how how difficult is it basically, you know, having to, I don't want to say sort through sewage, but get all of your raw material from infected sewage? I mean, to be honest, it's relatively straightforward. We, you know, we have a bottle. We turn up at the wastewater treatment plant. We fill the bottle. We take it back to the lab. We concentrate out the viruses on a filter. Um, and then we use quantitative PCR. So we're basically picking up the amount of RNA signal that's still in the wastewater, which tells us exactly how many copies of the virus we have in the wastewater. And then we monitor that um, over time. We're currently monitoring on a weekly basis. And we can see in certain you know, cities in, in the UK, we can see that the lockdown measures have had no impact at all. The levels of the virus are staying the same. And in other cities, the lockdown measures have been really successful and the levels of virus in the sewage are declining. So it, it's a really sort of good indicator measure of the amount of virus that's circulating in the population and also the success of any 
you know, measures that okay. we put in place to try and control the further spread of the virus. Davy Jones, thank you so much for joining us there. Interesting stuff. We appreciate it.